Well, he's dominated the boxing ring for many years. As a matter of fact, over 10 years. Now he's here in Antiguan Barbuda to hopefully deliver a knockout blow where the cannabis industry is concerned. Accompanied by the 18-member entourage, he first met with Tourism Minister the Honorable Charles Fernandez on arrival at the signature FBO at the VC Bird International Airport. Then it was off to St. John's to meet with Prime Minister the Honorable Gaston Brown and Attorney General the Honorable Stedroy Benjamin. So, why is Tyson here? He's a co-founder of Tyson Ranch, a cannabis company in the United States. And Antigua's entrance into the industry has opened up some welcome business opportunities. I mean, we're going to have everything here, and this is going to be something that Antigua has never experienced before. And um, I think it's going to change the face of Antigua and the infrastructure in uh, Antigua, and we're going to just change this whole total country. And that is a international global brand that is at the highest level. One thing that Tyson Ranch does is we pick the highest level of verticals and work with the people that are in it. So you don't mess with all the other nonsense that people deal with in this world. So especially in the cannabis business, trying to break through it. During a meeting in the cabinet room here at the Prime Minister's office, Prime Minister the Honorable Gaston Brown also spelt out what's on offer for this potentially lucrative industry. Uh, it represents a great opportunity for all of us. It will help us to create an export market, create a niche market for Antiguans and Barbudans to create more jobs, to grow the economy in a more robust way. And you would have heard from Mike himself, um, they have very uh, lofty aspirations for the country. They believe that the country is small enough that with their partnership, with their branding, that it can help us to grow exponentially. While well, the potential is not only for the cannabis industry, the investors, Tyson Farms, are here also looking at other areas of economic growth here in Antigua and Barbuda. I built the resort on time. Susie's dad was happy about that and on budget and um, <coughs> we employed uh, 500 people, 500 local Anguillans, 